there, it's Robin Ray from Lily Lane Decor and Design. Um, we get asked sometimes about floating shelves and I always have trouble answering people who ask about um, having floating shelves made because of the process of installing the shelves. So today I'm going to do a little video on installing one of these floating shelves. My thought usually is if, if you have the ability to install the ready-made floating shelves, you can probably build it yourself. Now, maybe you're missing some tools, maybe you just don't have time, whatever. Um, if you are interested in purchasing floating shelves, we do make them. Um, and yeah, this little video will give you a, a good idea of how we need to do in order to install the shelves. So when we build our floating shelves, they are hollow inside. Um, this one's actually quite long. It's like about 52 inches long. This is my new um, little building and I want to put one up here because I want to be able to stage signs and other little bits and pieces on there. So um, they come like that and also they have a cleat. So this is actually what you're going to mount to your wall. Then the, the shelf portion will slide um, like so over top of the cleat um, and that's how it'll be mounted. So if you buy them ready made, like at the Home Depot or wherever, you'll get a metal bracket. Same idea, it's a metal bracket with some prongs on it and your shelf just slides on over top of that. Um, that way you don't see where it's fastened to the wall. So that's how they work. Um, you do want to make sure, so when I'm, whenever people are ordering these, I always want to talk to them about, is your shelf wide enough that it's going to span um, to studs? That would be my recommendation. Now for decorative and smaller shelving, you can probably get away without hitting studs if you use drywall anchors. Um, but uh, for these ones, I usually recommend you want to hit studs. They're still not like you're not storing your encyclopedias on these. They're for decorative pieces, that sort of thing, um, rather than something that's um, that's weight, you know, bearing a, a ton of weight. Anyways, I have already found my stud finders over there, so I'm not going to grab it. But um, because this building's older, you can actually see cracks in the drywall where the studs are. So I've already looked with my stud finder to make sure that that was accurate. Um, but I'm just going to use those, those um, drywall lines in order to be able to know where my studs are. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my little pleat. I'm going to decide what height I want to put it at. I'm going to put it fairly low here because I want to be able to stage stuff on it, have my signs and things on it. So probably about there is where I'm going to go. Um, for the narrower shelves, you do want a, a long drill bit. Otherwise, you won't be able to get up into the um, in, in between the, the, the two bars of the cleat. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hold this up. Hold it up. Look at where I might want to put my um, my screw, and I'm going to start my screw down here so that I don't have to fight with it. And these are fairly long. I'm using fairly long screws so that I can get right through my drywall. So there we go. Um, next thing I'm going to do, obviously that's not level, I'm going to take my level and I'm just going to bring, bring that down until it's where I want it. Then I'll grab another screw and pop it in here. The exact same way I did the other one. Sorry you can't see me anymore. There we go. Um, and that's my cleat. Now this shelf is unfinished, but I just wanted to show you the installation portion. Um, so I'll take this, I'll stain and paint it however I'd like, uh, and then I'll just slide it like that right over top. And there's my floating shelf installed on the wall and uh, ready to, to put some little things on there. So that is um, installing floating shelves. Thanks for watching.